Hey guys, so it's been a while, but we are back with quick tips. Today we're going to be sharing a very handy free plugin you'll always need in your collection if you're a professional or a prosumer. Subtitles. So we've built several styles to get the job done fast and they're not just limited to subtitles, they'll definitely come in handy as marketing titles as well. So once you have the titles installed, you'll see they'll come up in your titles bracket in Final Cut Pro and we can start to preview the various different animations. You can get an idea of what you'll be able to do here. So you can see the titles are quite minimal but slick in order to maximize their time on screen for people that would be reading them. So what we're going to do is just test out Rise Up to show you how it works. So you can see it comes in here and it's just around uh, one second. So we're going to drag that out to be on screen a little bit longer. Then I'm going to change the text to something else. Now as you can see we've got options to turn off the animation at the start and at the end by clicking on these ticks here. So we're just going to have the animation at the beginning. And then you have all of your style settings. So you can add a stroke if there's something behind it. So you can see right there they're starting to become a blue line around the text. Uh, we can also change uh, or rather even put a drop shadow on. So let's do this as a test with video now. So I'm going to just delete this, go into my media and then bring in this interview shot. Dear members, as president for the Society for the Advancement of Blood. All right, so we've started off with dear members. So let's first bring in one of the titles here and we are going to use, and we're just going to use Rise Up again. It seems like it's my favorite. Dear members. All right, so let's start that off with dear members. Now, as you can see, it's not very visible on there because it's white on white and there's quite a lot of contrast. So let's actually try and change the color and see what we can work with. What we can also do is, of cha is change the font weights. So we've got a font here that doesn't allow for a change in font, but that's okay because we can change our font altogether until we find one that is bulkier. All right, so we've got a font now and let's just change it to a bigger font there. And you can notice that we're still having problems. We can't see what the text is very clearly. But that's okay because we do have this panel in the project. So let's just bring it underneath here. So now if we play that in, you can see that a panel comes in at the, uh, below there. So I'm actually just going to bring this all the way in so that it only animates out at the end. So now we've got our text on top of our section there. The title is a little higher, so I can actually just click on it and bring it down. All right, so let's see how this goes. Dear members, dear member, dear, dear member. So we've got our first title. Let's just copy and paste that. So let's see what he says. Dear members, there. as president for the society for the advance. So let's just drag that out there. So we've got as president of the society. Make another title over here. The society for the advancement of blood management. For the advancements. I want to welcome you to another year. I want to welcome. Management. I want to welcome you to another another year. So you can see, I'm just trying to read time it quite easily. So, so as you can see, as I go along, I'm trying. So as you can, so as I go along, I'm trying to read time it in line with uh, his voice. So let's see how this is. So, and I want it would like start here, which means that this one would probably just finish slightly beforehand. And I want to extend to you my Maybe a little sooner than that. So let's drag this a little earlier on. And drag this back slightly. To another year, and I want to extend to you my Copy and paste it above. My sincerest appreciation for your support. All right, so I've got that in. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Dear members, as president for the Society for the Advancement of Blood Management, I want to welcome you to another year, and I want to extend to you my sincerest appreciation for your support of our society. All right, so we take a look at that, and depending on what kind of video you're creating, you might be happy with that. You might think that there's too much motion, and for a lot of videos, there will be. If it's a very short 20 second to 40 second video, then slick animations like this actually do the video a lot of help. But if you're going to have a longer video, what you might have, is, well, what you what yeah. might rather want is for the titles to not animate. And you can, of course, do that like we mentioned. You can just click on the titles and turn off their build in and build out. 
Of course, what you will have to then make sure is that the titles start one another, uh, right after one another, but that's also just a matter of learning how to sync up. So you can see there, it just goes straight between the one into the other. Let's just quickly go over the effects that the panel has, because it's not just uh, being able to change the color. Of course, you can drop the opacity if you only want it to be slightly opaque. Um, and then you also have the option of changing it into a gradient. So if you want to go completely stylish, you can do that. And lastly, you also have the option of using this panel on the top, but also on the left and the right. If you're looking for a little information bar, you can use it as such as well. Now, what I wanted to mention is if we turn that panel off and we click on the titles, uh, like I said, we've got the outline. So if we change that into pink, then we should be able to see our title a little bit clearer without the panel behind it. Just bring up the stroke width. And if that's not doing it for you style-wise, then of course you also have your drop shadow. So we can actually increase the opacity of that up to 100 just to completely blur it out. And I'm going to just distance it slightly so you can see the drop shadows coming on, but we can also blur that. And that also creates some depth to be able to see it in front of a contrast of colors. As you can see, we've got some darker colors here and some lighter colors here. All right, download link is in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll be releasing another free tool very soon, so you won't want to miss out on that. And we'll catch you in the next video.